Hey guys, so this is going to be a short video uh, review and more of a overlook of the Kenwood NX1000 series portable. This specific one is a NX1300, which is UHF. This particular one is actually, uh, just for now, um, that one is actually 450 to 4, is that 520? And then the other one will be 430 to 470, I, I believe. I, I'm not up too up to date on Kenwood's uh, range, uh, frequency range. And then the NX1200 is going to be the VHF side one, 36 to 174. I probably said that completely wrong, but um, uh, the general price range, at least in my area in Pennsylvania, uh, Bucks County, is for around three hundred fifty-eight dollars with a uh, well around three sixty with tax. Um, your area might have it a little more expensive, might be a little more cheaper, might be around the same price range. This radio can actually do either analog and next edge, which is what this one does, or analog and DMR. 99% of my portables are DMR. However, this one has next edge just because that was uh, in stock. But you can get a the DMR key for around 40 bucks and you can have DMR on this. But I do want to say you can't have all three modes at once. You can either choose to have analog and next edge, or you can have analog and DMR. You can have a, you can have all three keys. You just can't use all three of them at once. So if you're gonna be, you, if you're a ham radio operator and you are gonna be moving to an area that has more next edge than DMR, then I would suggest, okay, I'm gonna go from DMR on this radio to Next Edge. Or if it's DMR that's more, you know, prominent in your area than Next Edge, you can switch over to DMR. The other thing about this radio is that it can do uh, Fleet Sync, which is Kenwood's uh, signaling, and instead of the MDC 1200, but it also can do uh, MDC 1200, both encode and decode. So right now I actually do have this radio on MDC 1200. So let's see if we can get this. All right, let me fix that real quick. So it does have MDC 1200. It can decode, but at this time, uh, I do not, I did not set that up. I forgot to, but um, it can decode MDC 1200. Along with a normal MDC 1200, emergency, remote stun kill, all that. Although I do not have a setup on my portable for many reasons. One of them just being because of the fact if someone just messes around with the radio and coincidentally picks my number not knowing well then I have my radio uh, killed so uh, let me see to have some, uh, stun I mean so the other thing is that with this radio it has really great audio it has many many options you have many different LED color options too and because I actually don't have a next edge radio, I can't show it as of right now. But the digital side of this is phenomenal. I had it tested from a friend of mine. Um, and it works really well. Once I get the DMR key, which should probably be this weekend or so, I'll show you guys both the call interrupt that's put in these radios along with private call, all call, individual call, and all the options 
uh, that this radio can feature, at least when it comes to DMR, because I do not have a, a second next edge radio. So, right now, I have set my scan as S on here. And I'll scan all the channels that I set up. A is actually for add and delete set channels. So if I don't want to scan, you know, a certain channel anymore, or if I want to scan just one channel instead of the two, three I already have in here, I can actually just set it up to do exactly that. And when I turn off the radio, it'll stay the same. Uh, the rest of the buttons on the bottom here aren't actually programmed. Uh, I didn't have a need for it. This is zone change here, just in case I decide to add another zone. Right now, it's just set up for work. Um, this button on the bottom here, I have for squelch. This one is the backlight. This battery lasts a really long time. I've had it for an eight, about, I had it at first as a five hour shift, um, and then an eight hour shift, and the battery held really strong. Now this was during a period when we didn't really have a lot of radio traffic to begin with, so I didn't expect it to really lose any battery. So um, I'm not really putting it through too much of a test as of right now. So, uh, as of right now, you're actually hearing uh, trans transmission from New Jersey. As you can hear, that's that's great sound right there. And then MDC twelve hundred, we have a mix of radios over there. Um, but as of right now. I just have it set up as is now. I'm gonna do more testing on it, so I can give you more of an in-depth re review, but as of right now, this is more or less just a quick review and a small, you know, video other than, you know, the videos you see from communications companies. Uh, it does come with a charger. It's a KESC Kilo Sierra Charlie uh, 3 5S 35 Sierra charger, simple charger, uh, obviously a charger cord as well, antenna, battery, belt clip, and it comes with a dust cover that is on the side here, but also comes with this, that way when you clip it on, you put this here, and you can keep your mic secure, so if it ever pop, you know, if it, so that way it doesn't pop out, you know, when you're running somewhere, if you're just doing a lot of moving with radio. Uh, the one I recommend for the mic is the KMC45D, uh, this one right here, it's a good mic, it takes the two pin connector here, it's a good mic, let's get the earpiece here that you can put out the bottom, that works really well, uh, let, let me actually hook it up real quick for you so you can hear the audio from that. See if I can. Right. WRCC 349 testing, WRCC 349 testing. So as you can see, the audio on this is pretty good. And uh, it's definitely a nice radio, received really well, transmits really well. I actually used it a few times uh, last night. I got it on Friday. Not Friday. Sit down on Moore Street off of 
Uh, uh, with that said, that's really all I have for right now. I'll be getting the software for this later. I had the shop I got it from do it for me. But once I get the software, I'll be able to show you guys a more in-depth review and on um, the programming side at least. And I'll also be doing screen recording of it instead of the normal uh, pointing my phone screen at the computer, uh, which I do apologize, I'm going to do a re redo of all of them basically uh, when it came to that, so I can show you guys a better view, you guys can see the picture more clear. Um, but other than that, that basically wraps it up, and uh, I'll see you guys soon.